numbers that are divisible by three have some little technique that we can use. Okay, so one little trick uh, about numbers that are divisible by three is we look at the sum of the digits. Okay, so if we have some certain number, we are going to take the sum of the digits of that number. Okay, and if that sum is divisible by three, then the whole number is also divisible by three. Okay, so we'll take a look at some examples so that we make sure we understand what I just said. So for example, 21, which hopefully we already know is divisible by three. Okay, but let's take a look at the sum of its digits. So the sum of its digits, what I mean is literally two plus one. Okay, so two plus one, the sum of digits is three. Okay, so since the sum of the digits is three and that is divisible by three, then that means the number here, 21, is also divisible by three. Okay, so that was a small example. What about 111? Now, the sum of these digits is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so here again, the sum of the digits is 3. Okay, now since that is also divisible by 3, then the number 111 is also divisible by 3. Okay, so that's how it works. A bit of a larger example, so 20,304. Okay, looking at the sum of digits here. So 2 plus 0 plus 3 plus 0 plus 4, okay, gives us a sum of digits equal to 12. And we know that 12 is also divisible by 3, okay, so since the sum of digits is divisible by 3, then our actual number here is also divisible by 3. 990, the sum of digits here is going to be 18, so 9 plus, 9 plus 0, okay, and 18 again is divisible by 3, then that means 990 is divisible by 3. Okay, so we're considering the sum of digits, okay, to see whether or not the actual number is divisible by 3. So, let's try and determine some of these numbers. So the first number here is 334. Okay, we're going to see if that is divisible by 3. So like we said, we're going to take a look at the sum of its digits. Okay, so 3 plus 3 plus 4 is going to give me a sum of digits equal to 10. And we know that 10 is not divisible by 3. So since the sum of digits is not divisible by 3, then our actual number is not divisible by 3. 213. In this case, our sum of digits is 6. So 2 plus 1 plus 3. Okay, gives us sum of digits equal to 6. And again, 6 is divisible by 3. So 213 is, of course, divisible by 3. Okay, so that's how it works. Now our next number, uh, sorry, 2040. Okay, sum of digits, we can see clearly it's going to be 6. And, okay, and again, of course, like the above one, it's divisible by 6. I'm oh, sorry, 6 is divisible by 3. So that means this number, 2040, is also divisible by 3. 3216, so 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 6. The sum of digits is equal to 12. Okay, and 12 is divisible by 3, as you all know, which means our number is also divisible by 3. Okay, hopefully we get the hang of it. We have a really large number now, 102,003. Okay, so sum of digits here, simply just 1 plus 2 plus 3. Okay, gives us a sum of digits equal to 6. Okay, so that's divisible by 3. Then of course, the big one is also divisible by 3. Now, 6,444, 6 plus 4, plus another 4, plus another 4. Sum of digits is 18, and again, 18 is also divisible by 3. So that number is divisible by 3. 817, okay, finally. So if we look at the sum of digits here, 8 plus 1 plus 17, we get sum of digits equal to 16. And 16 is not divisible by 3, so 817 is not divisible by 3. Okay, now this number, 20,005. Okay, let's look at this sum of digits. So 2 plus all those zeros plus a 5 is going to give me 7 as my sum of digits. Okay, now since 7 is not divisible by 3, then of course 20,005 is not divisible by 3.